All right, here's one of our Camberg Racing Ren housings. This is our three and a half inch with the truss and the whole upper four link tabbing. Kind of walk you around this. This is our two and a half inch rear hubs. The two and a half inch rear hubs gives you our 4340 heat treated chromoly wheel studs. You can see the shoulder here and then the threading and the bullet tip. And what that bullet tip is giving you is when you first put your wheel on there in a race situation, you're not fighting with all the threads. When your wheel's on here, the shoulder here sits inside the wheel and then your lug nuts obviously on your threads, but we keep that as short as possible. So when your nuts on there, um, you don't have to run the nut down for two, three inches like some of the other stuff. It's a lot quicker to do entire changes in a race, but once the nuts on there, you got a couple threads past it. Um, these are chromoly quarter wall tubes. Uh, as you see, there's a lot of engagement here. There's also, you can see the weld marks here, the plate inside that caps off the end of the tube so there's no oil getting in here. Keeps all the oil in the middle by the diff. Uh, this particular Ren is set up with a Yukon gear nodule or third member with the billet pinion support and the billet uh, ends right here. As you see on our four link tabbing, we weld the washers on the outsides uh, for all the hardware and whatnot. So you get a lot of extra material there. So big thick MIG welds, very high quality welding going on here. Um, we get a lot of questions. This is, um, it's called the right stuff. It's a silicone sealer. It's actually kind of wet still, but when we put it on, we kind of dab it with our fingers here. And what that does is it just makes sure it's perfectly sealed uh, so we're not having any leaks. So you will not see a leak coming out of these. Uh, we use all uh, high grade alloy hardware. The whole face plate on these wrens, you can see the shiny spot here. Uh, it gets surfaced and then all the holes get drilled. So you see these washers, they fit perfectly in there. So there's no ovaling out of these holes to get the hardware to fit on all the other wrens. Uh, on the market pretty much are like that, so they don't fit as well. So this is uh, all set up, and then we got the brake tabs here, which these are full laser cut, uh, 3 8 plate. These are uh, gonna be for the Willwood brake calipers. Uh, we do four rosettes around the snouts, uh, top, bottom, front, and back. Uh, we use a stainless steel retainer there, and that's for the, the seal. Uh, we do all safety wire on everything when we set up a rear end. Um, so everything's done properly, use all the Loctite. So you pay us to assemble your rear end, that's the quality you're getting. And once again, this is a full Camberg nine inch race rear end and uh, good to go. So same thing here, Camberg Kids race truck. That's actually a four inch housing built to the same standards, it's high end stuff. All of our Rens also include, we have the large, um, the large fill here. So it's a much larger fill, also acts as an inspection hole. So you can check out the gears and everything that's in there. Um, obviously you'd use a flashlight to light it up. Uh, these have an O-ring seal. We also, on our Rens here, uh, we wrap the back here. So as you see, there's three parts to the housing. This wrap back plate here ties in the back by welding over it all. We also on the bottom do a full bash guard, which is wrapping around the bottom as well as the back. And this is your drain plug right here. And so that adds a lot of strength to the rear end housing as well. So Camberg Rens, check us out camberg.com we have a rear end builder a lot of different options we also put the vent on there 